Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's I'm Beowulf, back at it with another YouTube video. This is kind of crazy. Before we get talking all about it, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification to get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Also, too, check out the free $25 with Crypto.com. The promo link for that is in the description of my YouTube video. Also, too, check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf and the I am Beowulf Merch at BeowulfNation.com. This is crazy news. So I was driving in Myrtle Beach on the 27th of January, 2022. And at 9-11 p.m., I'm driving and I see this giant plane just circling around where Myrtle Beach Airport is. And I'm seeing circle around and I have an app that can track any planes in the air. And a couple of weeks ago, there were, I think a week prior, there were some Air Force... Um, cargo planes doing the same thing where they're doing really fast maneuvers around and then just leaving they weren't la one landed at the airport and the other one circled around and then left so i looked up this thing what was in the air and what it was was a a boeing p8 poseidon now if you're not familiar what a poseidon is it's very interesting with this um as you can see the tension that's going on in ukraine with russia right now and in 2019, a lot of people aren't aware of in South Carolina, the Myrtle Beach and Charleston area, there was a Russian sub off the coast in 2019 here. Well, what a Poseidon is. What, you should, that's a cause of panic. Uh, the Poseidon. I can tell you what Wikipedia says what the Poseidon is. The Boeing P-8 Poseidon, formerly a multi-mission maritime aircraft, is an American maritime patrol aircraft developed and produced by Boeing Defense. Space and security modified from, a T, or from the 737-800ERX. It was developed for the United States. The P-8 operates as an anti-submarine warfare. <laughs> what? Anti-submarine! And this thing was in the Myrtle Beach area right next to the ocean. anti-surface warfare and shipping it is armed with now listen to this this is like a huge plane right it's armed with torpedoes harpoon anti-ship missiles and other weapons can drop and monitor sano buoys and it can operate in conjunction with other assets including northrop grumman mq 4 c Trite Maritime Surveillance. Let's see what this thing looks like. And, uh, yeah. It, I can put a photo of what the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton is. Is another type of drone. Uh, it says here, It's a high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, under development of the United States Navy as a surveillance aircraft together with associated ground control station is an un- Manned aircraft, UAS, developed under the Broad Area Maritime Surveillance, BMMS, program. The system is intended to provide real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, ISR, 
over a vast ocean and coastal regions, continuous maritime surveillance, conducted search and rescue missions, and a complete the Boeing P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol Aircraft. <laughs> so that just tells you what that is and what could be tying in with it. It says the P-8 operated in the United States Navy, Indian Navy, Royal Australian Air Force, the UK's Royal Air Force RAF. It has been ordered by the Royal Norwegian Air Force and a Royal New Zealand Air Force and the Republic of Korea Navy and the German Navy. Now, this thing is pretty crazy. I'll have some photos, some snapshots of what it was when I saw it, uh, you know, the path so you guys could see what it was going on. Also, too, check out the really cool uh, Psycho Kitty merch that is on I Am Baywolf merch at BayWolfNation.com. So it says here, how many P8 Poseidons are there in the U.S.? 128. Now, I saw an article which says there is a very strong chance that there are Russian subs on the east and west coast in Alaska right now. With the tensions going on, if you're not familiar with what's going on, you should probably do some research about that. But it's uh, definitely go get those iodine pills. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> and those are on the Amazon store. Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Under the survival section, there is these uh, iodine pills. And you should do your research about that. It's good to get those because they're not going to be handing them out for free when you might need them. It says here... Another little article. This is this is a very interesting plane. Uh, it's different than most planes you see. It has a huge rear wing on it. There's a bunch of articles recent, and here's one I could read off about this. Is with missile upgrade P-8A, Poseidon brings capacity. The Navy is November announced it will award Boeing a contract next year to begin working on integrating service premier anti-ship missile into the P-8 Poseidon. Let's see what date this is art from. This is from December of 2021, so this is just last month. And this plane, you could see that was in the Myrtle Beach area, was a year old. It did not have a call sign what plane it was. Uh, and it's just like stumbled upon seeing it. There was a, I've, this thing, I follow a lot of stuff, what's going on in the air and stuff. The, uh, by the Navy's definition, the Poseidon is a multi-mission aircraft with capabilities as well as weapon systems. But why equip it with an upgrade? Longer range missile designed for and first put on strike fighters and bombers. So this thing has now like missiles on it. This is a giant plane with missiles on its wings and this thing's just flying around. It's pretty crazy. Analysts told Breaking Defense the choice is about the military's capacity to, to uns unsustain a fighter in the Indo-Pacific and to complete plans for a pure adversary like China. The whole goal here at broadcasting the level is to create problems with for Chinese military planners, said Brad Bowman, a military political analyst. So it just gets about it. Let's scram through this so we get it to interesting stuff. The P-8 Poseidon, which is ISR anti-service and anti-submarine warfare capabilities with the third plane to receive a long-range anti-ship missile, a weapon developed and manufactured by Lockheed Martin in response to an urgent operational need in the U.S. Pacific Fleet in 2008. The first two aircraft to get in it were the combat-focused planes, the Navy's F-8 
FA-18 Super Hornet and Air Force's B-1 Bomber. And that's pretty interesting with that. And that's just like a little sc scrimming through here. Uh, there's some photos. Yeah, let's see what, the, what Boeing has to say. Let's see if we get some like a little cooler t details about this. It's a very interesting structure of how this plane is. Here, let's see what Boeing has to say here. The P-8 Intelligence Service surveillance and reconnaissance solution to beat the Boeing P-8 is truly a multi-mission maritime patrol aircraft excelling at an anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance and search and rescue. The P-8 can fly higher up to 41,000 feet and it could get to the fight faster at 480 knots. Shorter transition time to reduce the size of the area of probability when searching for submarines, surface vessels, and search and rescue survivors. P-8 is also designed for low altitude missions and has already proven its abilities supporting humanitarian and sur search and rescue missions. A proven system with more than 100 aircraft in service and over 300,000 flight hours. The P-8 P-8's performance and reliability delivers confidence in an uncertain world in any condition, anywhere, anytime. The P-8 is two variants of P, the P-8I flown by the Indian Navy and the P-8A Poseidon flown by the U.S. Navy, the Royal Australian Air Force and the United States, United Kingdom's Royal Air Force. The P-8 combines the most advanced weapon system in the world with cost advantages of the popular airliner on the planet. The P-8 shares 80% commonality with the commercial 737NG providing enormous supply chain economies of a scale of production and support Boeing's expertise in commercial fleet management and the Verity aircraft sustainment provides customers with greater availability at a lower cost or lower operational cost of peat is engineered for 25 years, 25,000 hours in the harshest maritime fleet regiments, including extended operations in icy environments. That's pretty crazy. So this was a plane, the Boeing P-8. So it's a U.S. Navy's Boeing P-8 flying over Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Figured to bring this guys out to you if you're want to be aware of what's going on and what's in the air flying around South Carolina. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Check out the I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com and a free $25 with crypto.com. All those promo links are in the YouTube video. Be driven to win. Remember, every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.